Many of you may have remembered a note, a specific note about a specific game that I wrote on my Midnight Strike 3625 Facebook. It was entitled Assassin's Greed and it detailed on my misfortunes and shortcomings of Assassin's Creed Unity. The most broken game of 2014 right here, Assassin's Creed Unity, like I said. Ubisoft, are you even trying? with this game. I said that I would record a video. I didn't necessarily anticipating myself doing a video on New Year's Eve, but then again I digress. It is a better time now to get it done and over with before 2014 ends than it would be to kind of start off a new year with this shit. So let me get into it. Assassin's Creed Unity is known for its glitches, it's known for its shoddy control scheme, thin plot, and really having nothing to do with Assassin's Creed at all, you know, except for the namesake, aside from that, of course, and the fight between Abstergo, the Templars, and the Assassins, and yada yada yada, but then again, it really doesn't have anything to do with anything. It has the French Revolution backdrop setting, yes, but unlike the previous games, which actually set you on the front lines of the internal conflict, this one just kind of has its own story going on in the background. So, where do I begin with this game? Where do I begin with kind of telling you guys about my feelings towards it? Well, let's start with the microtransactions. Yeah, let's get the worst out of the way. So the game is set up in a way where you have one of two options. One, you go through the entire game grinding your ass off, side mission after side mission after side mission, opening up the chests that, yes, you can open, opening up the chests that you can open because there are chests that you have to download certain companion apps, there are chests that you have to, you know, sign on to Ubisoft's Uplay in order to access and give away your private data. And then there's the second way, buy your way through it. Yes, you heard me right. You can buy your way through the entire game of Assassin's Creed Unity, all the best stuff, all the best equipment, all the best perks, with something known as Helix credits. Now, in order to get certain Helix credits, you have to have the cash. So fork over the moolah for Ubisoft Montreal because they set it up in a way where you either have to grind for hours and hours on end, limitedly by the way, or you can spend up to $100 on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live if you're playing it on Xbox One to buy the said equipment. So I have a problem with this. Well, one, the combat is brought back from Black Flag, but they kind of tweak it a little bit to make it even worse because, like I said, the control scheme is already really bad. No longer do the players take turns, or the AI, I should say. No longer do they take turns attacking you. Now they just lob bombs, throw grenades, swing their swords, and shoot you all at once. Well, even off-screen people can shoot you. So someone all, all the way over on the other side of the building can aim their musket or their rifle and shoot you and you lose probably like half your health. So basically this is not a question of being good at the game, this is a question of it being set against you. The odds are set against your favor. If you don't buy the microtransactions, you are setting yourself up to fail. Now, one thing that I did like about Assassin's Creed Unity was its environment. Now, I didn't like all the people running around. I didn't like the swarm streets of uh, Paris, France, I think it is. I think it's in Paris. But I did like the atmosphere. I did like the lighting effects. Like I said, the shadows, the lighting, the textures. Everything is pristine. It looks great, especially as a next-gen title. However, a lot of the character, um, t character models look very, very plasticky, especially going back to Black Flag. They kind of you know, look kind of the same as that. I mean, I'm playing the 360 version of Black Flag, and it looks very similar to this. Now, that's kind of sad, in my opinion, but we'll get into that a little bit later. I want to talk about the control scheme. Yep, the control scheme was changed after, what was it, like six or seven games? I mean, if something isn't broken, don't try to fucking fix it or you'll end up setting yourself up to fail just like you did with designing this entire game for players. Now, it's a glitch-ridden piece of mediocre gaming, much like Assassin's Creed 3, except this time it's a little bit worse, because Assassin's Creed 3, while it did have its fair share of glitches and mediocrity and boring assassin gameplay and the like, it at least had a 
desirable plot. It at least had an enjoyable plot in the real world setting, in the present day setting. This, it's told through cutscenes. Yes, you heard me right. Cutscenes. What the fuck, Ubisoft? This is supposed to be a science fiction adventure detailing about someone's DNA adventures through the Animus, reliving their memories of their ancestors, but you completely ripped it out. You're not in the Animus anymore. You're in the Helix. It's not even Abstergo anymore. It's Abstergo Entertainment. They go from having an actual plotline for the apocalypse to going into an Abstergo employee first-person segment, which, you know, I kind of complained about. I had my gripes about, but it was okay. And now you're just watching videos. Yes, it's a cutscene in a game, and the present-day player is supposed to be you, but it really just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you're trying to shove this convoluted story into Notre Dame, but in uh, France and all that shit, and it just doesn't work at all. I mean, everything just kind of clashes with each other. It feels very contrived. Now, especially with if when this game was fucking... See, I can't even talk straight. I just wanted to get into a rant about Assassin's Creed Unity because, well, you know, I gotta finish off the series review. Sad that this might be the last Assassin's Creed game that I review, but we'll look into that a little bit further with Assassin's Creed Rogue. So, basically with this story, it was uh, developed shortly after Brotherhood, actually. So this game was sadly in development for over four years, and they still didn't get this shit right. So, this was in development for four years, and you can definitely tell because the protagonist looks a lot like Ezio, he, his mannerisms are somewhat contrived from Ezio, or at least, you know, taken from Ezio, and his story, I mean, the, the, the background settings, and just, I don't know how to describe it, the buildings, the, the interiors, a lot of it looks like it was taken from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, or at least Assassin's Creed 2, kind of that whole era, and they're try I understand they're trying to get back to it, but it just seems like it was forced in with all the bullshit that was in Assassin's Creed 3. Kind of like the alarm bells from Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. And they just kind of tried to fit a bunch of shit into one game that ne didn't necessarily work together. So, I kind of got off topic there. Back to the controls. The control scheme does not work because they changed it to this really contrived free run up and free run down. Or parkour up, parkour down. And it doesn't work whatsoever. The system is so bad, they even needed to put in a enter window button. Now, it doesn't always work. Sometimes he goes in without you even pushing the button, but that's one of the best things about Assassin's Creed Unity. One of the only good things about it, aside from the graphics and the atmosphere and the environment. Now, this good thing is actually probably the saving grace, if there was any saving grace of this game, and that is that it allows you to seamlessly enter buildings at your own will and just take random shit like you know in the legend of zelda no load screen no nothing you can just be you know surfing surfing notre dame and paris and france and then all of a sudden you just you see an open window you go for it now it's not always the smoothest of transactions but it definitely gets the feel down that's a kind of a cool nifty thing that you know is an extra that's thrown in there and it really works well for the atmosphere and the setting of the game. So, one thing though that really bothers me, aside from the microtransactions, aside from the game being set up for you to fail if you don't spend your own money, is the skill tree. Now, this is something where I detailed in my note, it's called Assassin's Greed, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but look on my Midnight Strike Facebook, it's a note, it's entitled Assassin's Greed, Read it. So, if you want to know more about my opinions on this. One thing that really bothered me, though, about the skills tree is everything that was on the skills tree is either a useless combo move or something that was unlocked from the get-go in previous titles, such as the ability to shoot a pistol. You have to have a certain number of helix points in, or helix credits in order to unlock this. Now, 
in the beginning of Black Flag, don't you remember? You know, you eventually got the ability to shoot a pistol, or you eventually got the ability also to shoot multiple pistols, one after another, and it was so fluid, it was so seamless. The stealth was great in that game, the story, not so much, but we'll forgive that in terms of gameplay. But this game, this game has no excuse. It tries to bring back the atmosphere that was Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, and just kind of harken the game back to its roots, but there's just so much crap that's wrong with it. I mean, there's so much product pushing, there's so many microtransactions, so many glitches. Hell, when I used to be able to climb up a building and jump f um, seamlessly onto another, now all that Arno, that's his name, Arno, does is stop, dead in his tracks. I can't get the motherfucker to jump when I want to. Now, you can look up many, many criticisms of that part of the game, of that nature of the game, and they will all say the same thing. The controls are broken, everything about the game is just horrible. Now, Ubisoft tried to remedy this with patch after patch after patch, but it definitely shows how much they care about their audience, about their customers, their consumer fan base, when they fix the microtransactions before the actual game. Now. I don't know exactly what was wrong with the microtransactions, maybe they just weren't working right, maybe they weren't giving you what you paid for, but really, you're going to fix the microtransactions before you fix what's actually wrong with your game. Now, they did another thing that was very, very shady, very kind of, you know, slimy, but they made a offer for everyone who complained about Assassin's Creed Unity, they get a free game. Basically, anyone who bought, I believe it was the season pass or something, but downloading said game waives your right to any legal action against Ubisoft for in regards to Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, most people don't read the fine print. Most people would just hit, you know, I agree in terms of service, whatever, it's free game. But really, that's kind of a scumbaggish thing to do. I mean, it just, it seems like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, I could be wrong, but... That's just what it seemed like they were doing, is giving people this free game just to shut them up and, you know, waive their liable rights to sue or have any legal action, basically. But then again, I'm not going to sue over a glitchy game. I'm just probably not going to play it. I'm surprised I still have it. I'm surprised there's still data for it on my PlayStation 4, to be honest. But now that that rant is over, I am going to actually score this game probably a 4 out of 10. I mean, it did have its good, very few good points, such as, you know, the return of the medicine, and some some of the weapons were kind of fun to play with, I, I guess. And I did have fun going into buildings seamlessly as Arno, and his uh, hood customization, the customization aspect of the assassins are actually pretty good. It's actually pretty, pretty fine-tuned, but... Other than that, I mean, I, I'm really digging deep, as you can tell. Because at first, at first, I just, I was wondering what was going on. I was just confused. It seems like they're just trying to come out with, you know, year after year. One title, one title, one title. All of a sudden, they have two Assassin's Creed games coming out for two separate consoles. I mean, it just seems like they're in it for the money, folks. I don't know what else to, t what else to tell you. <sighs> I might be skipping out on the next Assassin's Creed. Probably will be, actually. So, 4 out of 10, keep your money. This has been Night Strike 3625. Keep calm and rock on.